Hello, everyone. Thanks for being here to listen to my presentation on the design and construction of a 115 meter span free from roof in Kuala Lumpur. I will start with an introduction to the project. I will talk about loading the assumptions, uh, the geometry study, supports, layout, and trees geometry, and I will finish with the conclusion. Uh, Bukit Jalil Mall is a new high end commercial development in Bukit Jalil, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The main attraction of the mall will be the Piazza. It's an outdoor event space covered by the mega canopy, a 115 meter span and a 20 to 40 meter high uh, steel structure covered with ETFE, uh, which creates an aerated and um, impressive 80 to 100 meter column free space for the pedestrians. Uh, the maximum cushion length is 115 meters amongst the uh, longest ETFE cushions in the world. In terms of supporting conditions, uh, the structure is supported by 15 tree columns highlighted here in red, uh, which are pin supported uh, on the concrete below, and two secondary columns which are supported uh, on the mall roof, which we can see here in green. The design follows Eurocode. Uh, loadings consist of self-weight, uh, dead load of the ETFE, MME, fans, uh, winches for the exhibits. Uh, live load for the maintenance, uh, wind load uh, was defined according to the wind tunnel test, and uh, we have temperature loadings. Load combinations follow uh, traditional Eurocode combinations. The initial concept from the client was uh, a freeform grid shell supporting diamond shaped ETFE cushions. Uh, but such structure is uh, quite uh, expensive and complicated to fabricate and install for the steel, and expensive as well to uh, fabricate for the ETFE cushions. So two alternative solutions were uh, introduced in order to fit within the client budget. The first one was to introduce 32 vertical arches uh, spaced at 3.5 meter to uh, easily control uh, the installation and make the structure behavior uh, simpler. Uh, the second um, solution which was introduced was to change the ETFE cushions to a rectangular cushions supported on the um, arches, which are very then simple to uh, fabricate. We have kept longitudinal beams bracing the arches uh, in a diamond shaped layout, uh, just to remind the client's initial concept. Um, we had to define um, the geometry of the structure, and for that, what we need is a geometry which eliminates any water ponding issues and which is elegant and uh, rationalized to uh, make sure that the steel is. Fab is can be fabricated and the ETFE as well. Um, so here are four options which were studied and the last one, the most elegant was chosen for the structure. The final geometry uh, so consists in, uh, so 32 arches, uh, rectangular hollow sections of 500 to 600 mm deep, supported uh, on an edge beam, uh, which is a pentagonal section integrated the gutter, itself supported by the three columns. And the bracing is uh, circular hollow sections, provide a restraint for the arches and provides as well additional uh, stiffness by uh, mimicking a sort of a grid shell behavior. And this is the uh, as-built structure. Um, now we have to consider uh, the sensitivity of the structure uh, to buckling. So for that, we have uh, carried out a linear buckling analysis, and we were particular, particularly interested in the resistance to torsion and sway buckling. Um, so the initial spacing of the secondary columns uh, was eight meters, uh, which was giving a first buckling mock critical load factor at 2.1 uh, with a sway uh, buckling mode. So this is not satisfactory, it's too sensitive to buckling. So in order to uh, reduce the sensitivity of the structure to sway buckling, we have proposed to um, space the secondary columns uh, by 25 meters instead, which was increasing the critical load factor to uh, 3.5. Um, this is still uh, not enough. So um, as a result, um, the influence of the three columns geometry uh, on the sensitivity to sway buckling was studied, especially the influence of the node height. So three options were considered. The first one, an option at 13 meters from the ground, which was giving a critical load factor of 3.5, as we saw just before. The second option was a node at 11 meters from the ground, 
critical load factor of 11 and a third option of 10 meter from the ground of critical load factor of 12. So as we can see, the lower the node, the stiffer the structure as um, I mean, this was expected as the three columns provide a support table for the structure. Option three was not satisfactory as it was obstructing the view uh, from the mall to the piazza. So option two was chosen. Um, so the final uh, stability checks uh, were done following Eurocode. So linear buckling analysis was carried out and uh, non-linear analysis with imperfections included was carried out when necessary. The structure works as a series of independent arches, doesn't really have a um, you know, um, shell behavior. So there is no snap through block buckling or, um, um, or global, global shell buckling. The first arch buckling mode is uh, 4.12 and the first uh, you know, overall buckling mode, which is a sway buckling mode, is, uh, has a critical load factor above 10. In terms of fabrication and installation, um, the arches uh, are built up rectangular hull sections and the edge beam is a pentagonal section with all the steel plate cylindrical surfaces. Uh, the initial tree concept was to use circular hollow sections, but those would have very complex nodes to fabricate. So we changed it to uh, built up square tapered sections, which make elegant trees, simplify the fabrication and enable to introduce internal stiffness to ensure the rigidity of the node as the main point for the support table of the structure. Here we can see uh, the installation of the ECF. At the conclusion, um, there has been a geometry optimization to have an efficient structure. Supporting conditions were optimized as well for an increased stiffness and reduced sensitivity to buckling, which provides an elegant uh, roof, uh, aerated uh, with an impressive column-free space for the pedestrians. I'm now available for live questions. Thanks a lot.